Question 1. Can a P1 or P2 provisional driver legally instruct a learner driver? A. No. B. Yes, provided the provisional driver has held a P2 license for more than six months. C. Yes, provided L and P1 or P2 plates are displayed. The correct answer is A. No. Question 2. To progress to a P2 provisional license, a P1 provisional driver must hold a P1 license for a minimum period of A. 12 months. B. 18 months. C. A. 24 months. The correct answer is A. 12 months. Question 3. If one or two of your wheels run off the edge of the roadway, you should A. Slow down gradually and ease back onto the road. B. Slow down quickly by braking hard. C. Increase your speed and drive back on the road. The correct answer is A. Slow down gradually and ease back onto the road. Question 4. If there are no lanes marked on the road, you should drive? A. Near to the left-hand side of the road. B. Anywhere on your side of the road. C. Along the middle of the road. The correct answer is A. Near to the left-hand side of the road. Question 5. If you intend to turn left, are you required to give a signal? A. Yes, if turn signals are fitted to your vehicle. B. No, if turning left from a lane marked left turn only. C. No, if arrows are marked on the roadway. The correct answer is A. Yes, if turn signals are fitted to your vehicle. Question 6. What is meant by this sign on or near a bridge? A. Slow down and be prepared to give way to vehicles traveling in the opposite direction. B. Stop at all times before crossing the bridge and only give way to pedestrians who may be crossing. C. Do not overtake a vehicle traveling in the same direction. The correct answer is A. Slow down and be prepared to give way to vehicles traveling in the opposite direction. Question 7. When reversing, you should. A. Take care and never reverse for a greater distance in time than is necessary. B. Unbuckle your seatbelt so you can reverse as quickly as possible. C. Sound your horn to warn other drivers. The correct answer is A. Take care and never reverse for a greater distance in time than is necessary. Question 8. How close can you park to another vehicle when parked parallel to the curb? A. You must leave at least 1 meter front and back. B. You must leave at least 2 meters from the front only. C. You must leave at least 3 meters front and back. The correct answer is A. You must leave at least 1 meter front and back. Question 9. Where there is parallel curbside parking, are you allowed to double park alongside a parked vehicle? A. No, not at any time. B. Yes, if delivering goods. C. Yes, if not obstructing traffic. The correct answer is A. No, not at any time. Question 10. Do you have any responsibilities when opening a vehicle door on a roadway? A. Yes, you must not open a door if you are likely to cause danger to road users or impede traffic. B. No. Any following traffic must stop if the door interferes with its progress. C. No, there is no regulation to cover this situation. The correct answer is A. Yes, you must not open a door if you are likely to cause danger to road users or impede traffic. Question 11. Are you permitted to park on a median strip or traffic island? A. No, not at any time. B. Yes, in daylight hours. C. Yes, but for no more than 30 minutes. The correct answer is A. No, not at any time. Question 12. Are you permitted to park in the direction of the arrow? A. No, not at any time. B. Yes, provided no taxis are using the area. C. Yes, if you are carrying two or more passengers. The correct answer is A. No, not at any time. Question 13. When driving at sunset or dawn on a dark day, what should you do? A. 
turn on your lights on low beam. B. Keep your sunglasses on to cut down headlight glare. C. Turn on your hazard warning lights. The correct answer is A. Turn on your lights on low beam. Question 14. You are driving at night with your headlights on high beam. When should you dip your headlights? A. When within 200 meters of the vehicle ahead or an oncoming one. B. When within 200 meters of an oncoming vehicle only. C. Never. You are allowed to drive with your lights on high beam at all times. The correct answer is A. When within 200 meters of the vehicle ahead or an oncoming one. Question 15. You are driving in a 60 km per hour zone, with only one lane for traffic in your direction. You see a bus ahead, with this sign displayed on the rear, signaling its intention to pull out from a bus stop. You should A. Slow down and give way to the bus as it has priority. B. Sound your horn to stop the bus from pulling out. C. Continue at your normal speed as the bus does not have priority. The correct answer is A. Slow down and give way to the bus as it has priority. Question 16. Is it an offense to obstruct clear vision of your number plates? A. Yes, at any time. B. Yes, but it is legal for a tow bar or bicycle rack to cover the rear number plate. C. No, you are allowed to cover your number plates if you want to. The correct answer is A. Yes, at any time. Question 17. Before driving on a freeway, which of the following should you do? A. Make sure your vehicle has enough fuel, oil, water, and the correct tire pressure. B. Take your street directory in case you get lost. C. Take something to calm your nerves before driving. The correct answer is A. Make sure your vehicle has enough fuel, oil, water, and the correct tire pressure. Question 18. What must you do if you miss your exit on a freeway? A. Continue until you reach the next appropriate exit. B. Stop and reverse back along the freeway to the exit you missed. C. Stop immediately and turn around. The correct answer is A. Continue until you reach the next appropriate exit. Question 19. As you leave a freeway, which of the following should you check? A. Your speed. B. Fuel gauge. C. Windscreen wipers. The correct answer is A. Your speed. Question 20. When can a private car travel in a lane marked by this sign? A. Only within 100 meters of making a turn. B. When carrying at least two passengers. C. Only to overtake another vehicle. The correct answer is A. Only within 100 meters of making a turn. Question 21. Are you permitted to drive a car towing more than one trailer? A. No, not at all. B. Yes, if the combined length of vehicle and trailers does not exceed 15 meters. C. Yes, provided you have held a license for two years. The correct answer is A. No, not at all. Question 22. What must you do when you are towing a caravan to help other vehicles overtake? A. Keep at least 60 meters behind heavy vehicles or other vehicles towing caravans. B. Drive at least 25 kilometers per hour below the speed limit. C. Stop immediately and let the faster vehicle overtake. The correct answer is A. Keep at least 60 meters behind heavy vehicles or other vehicles towing caravans. Question 23. Are you permitted to tow a caravan with a person riding in the caravan? A. No, not under any circumstances. B. Yes, provided you do not exceed 60 km per hour. C. Yes, if the persons in the caravan are over 12 years of age. The correct answer is A. No, not under any circumstances. Question 24. Before driving a long distance at fast speed or carrying a full car load, you should A. Check your tire pressure, and if necessary, increase it to what the manufacturer recommends. B. 
make sure you have a street directory, so you know where you are going. C. Have a large meal and a cup of coffee. The correct answer is A. Check your tire pressure, and if necessary, increase it to what the manufacturer recommends. Question 25. If an oncoming vehicle crosses the center line and is coming straight at you and you cannot stop, you should A. Brake, look for room to the left, sound your horn and flash your lights. B. A. Slow down and hope that the driver will turn away. C. Drive onto the wrong side of the road and hope the other vehicle does not do the same. The correct answer is A. Brake, look for room to the left, sound your horn and flash your lights. Question 26. If you are involved in an accident where your vehicle needs to be towed away and the police does not attend the crash scene, you A. Must report the accident to the police station nearest to where the accident happened within 24 hours. B. Do not need to report the accident to the police. C. Only need to report the accident to the police if someone was injured. The correct answer is A. Must report the accident to the police station nearest to where the accident happened within 24 hours. Question 27. If your vehicle is involved in an accident, regardless of the damage, what details must you give to the other drivers, if asked? A. You must let them see your license, take details, and give the name and address of the vehicle's owner. B. No details at all until you have contacted your insurance company. C. Only your name and address details if a policeman asks for them. The correct answer is A. You must let them see your license, take details, and give the name and address of the vehicle's owner. Question 28. If a vehicle you are driving is involved in an accident and a person is injured, what must you do after stopping? A. Render every assistance and take immediate steps to have an ambulance notified. Then call the police. B. Only call the police if the accident also resulted in over $500 worth of property damage. C. Report the accident to police within seven days. The correct answer is A. Render every assistance and take immediate steps to have an ambulance notified. Then call the police. Question 29. Stop signs or flashing lights at railway crossings should always be obeyed, because? A. Trains are fast, heavy and cannot stop quickly. B. Pedestrians might be crossing. C. Car brakes often fail. The correct answer is A. Trains are fast heavy and cannot stop quickly. Question 30. You should not drive across a railway level crossing when? A. Traffic is blocking the other side. B. You are towing a caravan. C. A station is nearby. The correct answer is A. Traffic is blocking the other side. Question 31. You should use your right-hand indicator when? A. You intend to move to the right at any time. B. You intend to slow down. C. You are about to stop. The correct answer is A. You intend to move to the right, at any time. Question 32. When merging onto the freeway from the entrance, you should? A. Look for a large enough break in the traffic, and adjust your speed so as to fit into the traffic flow. B. Sound your horn, Turn on your indicator lights and move on to the freeway. C. Stop and check the traffic behind you on the entrance. The correct answer is A. Look for a large enough break in the traffic and adjust your speed so as to fit into the traffic flow. Question 33. If you see a sign indicating road repairs are going on, you should A. Slow down and watch for traffic controllers and instructions. B. Stop immediately and wait for instructions. C. Maintain the same speed. The correct answer is A. Slow down and watch for traffic controllers and instructions. Question 34. You see a broken yellow line painted on the roadway adjacent to the curb. What does it mean? A. Clearway restrictions apply. You must not stop during the clearway hours. B. You may at any time. Park along this part of the road for one hour only. 
C. Bicycle riders must ride along the yellow line. The correct answer is A. Clearway restrictions apply, you must not stop during the clearway hours. Question 35. If you see a horse and rider on the road, what should you do? A. Slow down and give them plenty of room. B. Sound your horn to warn the rider. C. Speed up to pass the horse. The correct answer is A. Slow down and give them plenty of room. Question 36. A friend lends you a van that has seats for 10 passengers. What type of license do you need to drive this type of vehicle? A. A car license. B. A heavy rigid vehicle license. C. A small bus license. The correct answer is A. A car license. Question 37. What are you required to do if you develop a serious medical condition that could affect your driving? A. Once you become aware of the condition you must notify the RTA. B. Hand your license in at the nearest police station. C. Tell your doctor and let him or her notify the RTA. The correct answer is A. Once you become aware of the condition you must notify the RTA. Question 38. A friend lends you his car. It is very noisy and blows a lot of smoke. He tells you the vehicle has been given a defect notice, but it's still okay to drive it. What should you do? A. Before you borrow the car check the defect notice to make sure it is legal to drive the car. B. Borrow the car, but always drive it 10 km per hour below the speed limit. C. Borrow the car, but only drive on streets where the car will not be a danger to others. The correct answer is A. Before you borrow the car check the defect notice to make sure it is legal to drive the car. Question 39. Your car registration expires today. You have your car inspected for registration renewal, but it fails the inspection. What should you do? A. After today you must not drive the car until it has been repaired, passed another inspection and registered. B. You have seven days to have the car repaired after which the RTA considers it to be unregistered. C. Go to the RTA and ask them to renew your registration and tell them you will soon get the car fixed. The correct answer is A. After today you must not drive the car until it has been repaired, passed another inspection and registered. Question 40. You buy a car and find that the spare tire is smooth, the tread is only just visible. If you get a puncture will it be legal to drive the car with a smooth spare tire? A. No, it's illegal to drive a car with a smooth tire even if it is the spare. B. Yes, but you must get the puncture fixed within 24 hours. C. Yes, if the tire is correctly inflated and the side walls of the tire are in good condition. The correct answer is A. No, it's illegal to drive a car with a smooth tire even if it is the spare. Question 41. You borrow a friend's car and find that the position of the driver's seat puts you sitting a long way from the steering wheel and controls. What should you do? A. Adjust the seat forward so it's right for you. B. Put up with the discomfort. You should not adjust another person's seat. C. Ask your friend for a cushion to place behind your back. The correct answer is A. Adjust the seat forward so it's right for you. Question 42. You hold an unrestricted license and are driving at 100 km per hour in the country and pass this sign. What should you do? A. Slow down to a speed that will allow you to stop to avoid crashing into farm animals on the road. B. You can continue to drive at 100 km per hour if there are fences to stop farm animals from getting on the road. C. For the next 5 km you must not exceed 60 km per hour unless you pass an end farm animal speed limit sign. The correct answer is A. Slow down to a speed that will allow you to stop to avoid crashing into farm animals on the road. Question 43. You are turning right from one of two right turn only lanes. How should you use your indicators? A. Indicate with your right hand signal the same as any other right hand turn. B. You should not indicate at all because it might confuse other drivers. C. Indicating in this situation is optional. 
give a right hand signal if you think it will help other road users. The correct answer is A. Indicate with your right hand signal the same as any other right hand turn. Question 44. You are driving on a freeway and realize you forgot something at home. You want to go back for it. Can you do a U turn on this road? A. No, not at any time. B. Yes, any time. C. Yes, providing you use the gravel joining roads. The correct answer is A. No, not at any time. Question 45. You have a six year old child with you in your car. You have just parked so you can collect a prescription from the chemist. You should A. Take the child with you. B. Leave the child in the car. C. Ask an older person sitting nearby to watch the child. The correct answer is A. Take the child with you. Question 46. You want to leave your automatic car parked on a street sloping uphill. You should A. Put the handbrake on and put the transmission in P. Park. B. A park only on flat areas. C. Turn the wheels away from the curb. The correct answer is A. Put the handbrake on and put the transmission in P. Park. Question 47. You have just passed this sign. Can you park on this road? A. No, not at any time. B. Yes. C. Yes, but only in daylight hours. The correct answer is A. No, not at any time. Question 48. Where there are double dividing lines, you may park. A. At least 3 meters from the dividing lines. B. At least 2 meters from the dividing lines. C. 1 meter from the dividing lines. The correct answer is A. At least 3 meters from the dividing lines. Question 49. If there are no signs or markings to advise you, can you choose any of these methods of parking? A. No, only N is correct. B. Yes, M, N and O are all legal. C. Yes, N is best, but M and O are quite legal. The correct answer is A. No, only N is correct. Question 50. You should angle park? A. Where there are markings or a sign indicating angle park. B. Where the road is very wide. C. Where there is plenty of room from the center line. The correct answer is A. Where there are markings or a sign indicating angle park. Question 51. This bridge has only just enough room for two vehicles. As you come close to it, you should A. Slow down and pay extra attention. B. Sound your horn to warn the other driver. C. Maintain your speed, keeping to the limit. The correct answer is A. Slow down and pay extra attention. Question 52. Which side mirror is adjusted best? A. Mirror A. B. Mirror B. C. Mirror C. The correct answer is A. Mirror A. Question 53. You should be particularly careful at this intersection because A. The building blocks a good view of the side street. B. Intersections cause crashes. C. It looks a bit tricky. The correct answer is A. The building blocks a good view of the side street. Question 54. You are in busy traffic and slow down for a bicycle rider. A driver behind you beeps a horn and pressures you to go around the bike and drive faster. How should you respond? A. Resist the pressure. Stay calm and overtake the cyclist when it is safe. B. Overtake the bike quickly and speed up to stop the other driver becoming aggressive. C. Go slower, because the slower you go the safer you are. The correct answer is A. Resist the pressure, stay calm and overtake the cyclist when it is safe. Question 55. You hear the siren of an ambulance approaching you from behind. You should A. Move into the left lane. B. Is slow down to the speed of other traffic. C. Continue at the same speed. The correct answer is A. Move into the left lane. Question 56. 
you are driving along this road. You hear an ambulance's siren and see the ambulance in your mirror. You should a. Move to the left and make way for the ambulance. b. Turn into a driveway on the right-hand side of the road. c. Move to the right and make way for the ambulance. The correct answer is a. Move to the left and make way for the ambulance. Question 57. You are about to make a right-hand turn at this intersection. You have the green light, you hear a siren, and then see that a fire truck will soon overtake you. You should a. Stop and let the fire truck overtake you. b. Continue and make the turn because you have the right of way. c. Speed up to beat the fire truck. The correct answer is a. Stop and let the fire truck overtake you. Question 58. When you come across roadworks? a. You must obey the sign that are displayed at all times. b. You only have to obey the signs when there are workers about. c. You only have to obey the signs during working hours. The correct answer is a. You must obey the sign that are displayed at all times. Question 59. Generally, if you hear the siren of an emergency vehicle you should a. Pull over to the left until the emergency vehicle passes. b. Immediately come to a stop. c. Let the emergency vehicle pass and follow it closely behind. The correct answer is a. Pull over to the left until the emergency vehicle passes. Question 60. You are approaching a green light in vehicle a. An ambulance sounding its siren is approaching the same intersection and has a red light. You should a. Slow down and stop if necessary to prevent getting in its way. b. Keep driving because you have the green light. c. Pull over to the left before you reach the intersection. The correct answer is a. Slow down and stop if necessary to prevent getting in its way. Question 61. When you see these lights flashing on the back of a bus, what should you do? A. Drive carefully at no more than 40 km per hour. B. Overtake the bus only while the lights are flashing. C. Stop and wait for the lights to stop flashing. The correct answer is A. Drive carefully at no more than 40 km per hour. Question 62. You are driving at night and there is no other traffic around you. When can you use your headlights on high beam? A. On any road, even if there are street lights. B. On any road where the speed limit is above 80 km per hour. C. Only on roads that do not have street lights. The correct answer is A. On any road, even if there are street lights. Question 63. You want to park your vehicle for a short time? It is night time. You should? A. Pick a visible position or leave the parking or hazard lights on. B. Park on the footpath. C. Leave your headlights on high beam. The correct answer is A. Pick a visible position or leave the parking or hazard lights on. Question 64. You drive up to a corner where you see some loose gravel on the road. You should A. Slow down. B. Check the mirrors and change lanes. C. Speed up and drive over the gravel as quickly as possible. The correct answer is A. Slow down. Question 65. When you are driving on a two-lane freeway, which lane should you choose? A. The left lane unless you are overtaking. B. Whichever lane has the least traffic. C. The right lane to avoid slow-moving vehicles. The correct answer is A. The left lane unless you are overtaking. Question 66. When there are three lanes on a freeway? A. The right lane is reserved for overtaking. B. The right lane is for emergency vehicles only. C. The right lane is for avoiding most traffic. The correct answer is A. The right lane is reserved for overtaking. Question 67. When you see the headlights flashing on the front of a bus, what should you do? A. Be careful, there may be children about. 
B. Drive past the bus only while the lights are flashing. C. Stop and wait for the lights to stop flashing. The correct answer is A. Be careful, there may be children about. Question 68. You are driving your vehicle along a street and want to stop for a short time. Are you allowed to double park your vehicle that is standed on the road alongside a parked car? A. No, never. B. Yes, provided you do not leave the vehicle. C. Yes, provided you stop for a short time only and turn on. The correct answer is A. No, never. Question 69. Looking at the diagrams, how far from the approach side of a bus stop or a railway crossing are you allowed to stand or park your vehicle? A. At least 20 meters. B. At least 50 meters. C. At least 5 meters. The correct answer is A. At least 20 meters. Question 70. Are you allowed to use a handheld mobile phone while driving a car? A. No. B. Yes, but only when you stop at intersections. C. Yes, but you must hold the steering wheel with at least one hand. The correct answer is A. No. Question 71. Are you required to carry your driver's license with you every time you drive? A. Yes. B. No, it is only needed on long trips. C. No, being licensed is enough. The correct answer is A. Yes. Question 72. Bicycle and motorcycle riders have the same rights to use the road as other motor vehicle drivers. They are, however, more at risk in traffic because a. They are harder to see in traffic and do not have the same protection as many drivers. b. They are careless and do not obey road rules. c. They ride too fast and do not turn their lights on. The correct answer is A. They are harder to see in traffic and do not have the same protection as many drivers. Question 73. To drive safely, you need to concentrate and be able to monitor everything that is happening on the road. To do this, you need to A. Continually scan the road, looking ahead, to the sides, checking side and rear mirrors and anticipate what may happen. B. Turn all your attention only to the road ahead. C. Ask other occupants in the vehicle to watch out for possible dangers. The correct answer is A. Continually scan the road, looking ahead, to the sides, checking side and rear mirrors and anticipate what may happen. Question 74. If you are driving towards a road work zone and a traffic controller displays a stop sign you must? A. Stop your vehicle and follow the directions of the traffic controller. B. Stop and then proceed if you think it is safe. C. Slow down and continue through the roadworks zone. The correct answer is A. Stop your vehicle and follow the directions of the traffic controller. Question 75. If you are driving through a roadwork zone in the left-hand lane and you see this sign you should? A. Merge to the right and give way to other traffic. B. Is speed up to get in front of any cars traveling in the right-hand lane. C. Stop and wait for directions. The correct answer is A. Merge to the right and give way to other traffic. Question 76. Where must L or P plates be displayed on a vehicle? A. On the front and back of the exterior of the vehicle. B. Anywhere including on the dashboard. C. Anywhere inside the windows, but only if they are not tinted. The correct answer is A. On the front and back of the exterior of the vehicle. Question 77. When displaying L or P plates, how much of the letter must be clearly visible? A. All of the letter L or P. B. Only enough of the letter so it is clear whether it is an L or P. C. Most of the letter. The correct answer is A. All of the letter L or P. Question 78. Do bicycle riders have the same rights and responsibilities as drivers and motorcycle riders? A. Yes. B. No, they must always ride on the footpath. C. No, 
they must give way to cars at all times when riding on the road? The correct answer is A. Yes. Question 79. Before getting out of your vehicle you must? A. Check your mirrors and blind spots for pedestrians, bicycles, or other vehicles. B. Check your seatbelt is back in place. C. Check your headlights are turned off. The correct answer is A. Check your mirrors and blind spots for pedestrians, bicycles, or other vehicles. Question 80. You are approaching an intersection that has a red light camera. The lights turn yellow when you're too close to stop safely. The lights go red as you get to the other side of the intersection. Will you receive a penalty notice? A. No, because the camera only takes a photo if you cross the stop line after the lights turn red. B. Possibly, because you were in the intersection when the lights turned red. C. Yes, but a driver is entitled to advise the police service and have the case heard by a court. D. Yes, a fine will be issued. The correct answer is A. No, because the camera only takes a photo if you cross the stop line after the lights turn red. Question 81. Which vehicle is parked correctly? A. Vehicle A. B. Vehicle B. C. Vehicle C. The correct answer is C. Vehicle C. Question 82. When merging onto the freeway from the entrance, you should? A. Drive straight on as you have the right of way. B. Sound your horn, turn on your indicator lights, and move onto the freeway. C. Stop and check the traffic behind you on the entrance. D. Look for a large enough break in the traffic and adjust your speed so as to fit into the traffic flow. The correct answer is D. Look for a large enough break in the traffic and adjust your speed so as to fit into the traffic flow.